Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another HD tutorial. And in this video, I'll be showing you, um, as you can see by the title, how to make a, re a relatively basic um, a relatively basic channel icon using GIMP. Now, you can see by the sidebars, I already have GIMP open for you. And what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, we're going to create a square icon. Uh, so we're going to go to File and New. And we're going to create a new 200 by 200 uh, sorry, 200 project. Now, depending on how high the resolution or high, uh, high the, um, I'm sorry, depending on how high the resolution or uh, density you want it to be, you can make it a larger size, maybe 400 by 400. It'll be a little crisper, but it'll also be a larger file size. So just hit OK. And here we have our uh, little square going on here. What we're going to do is press this tool over here. This is the blend tool. And we're going to choose a background and a foreground color. We're just going to blend black and red for this one. So just uh, drag it to the spot where you want and hit OK. And then we're just going to kind of drag and uh, it'll change it the way you may or may not like it. But that's basically, uh, you can choose how long the gradient takes. And that's basically the background of our icon here. The next thing that a lot of people want to do is add text to it. So what you're going to do is go to the layer button and select new layer. And it's going to be the same size. We can name it uh, text1 and hit OK. And this is going to be uh, just any text we want. So make sure this layer is selected and click on it. And just hit the A button and drag yourself a little text box. Once you've texted, uh, once you've uh, created a text box, what do you want it to be? Well, I have all my channel logos. Uh, I have about four of them. They're all MKB, which is my initials, in all capital letters. Uh, you can change a lot of things about this. I'm going to close this. But while this layer is still selected, go ahead and uh, increase the size of it. Okay. Uh, you can change the font. I'll change this to uh, one of the fonts that I got from Defonts website. And by the way, if you want to learn how to get free fonts downloaded on your computer, just check out my video about Defont. So here we go. This is going to be the main text of um, of my channel logo right here. And once we finish that, a lot of people. This is basically all that I would do. But most people want to ask, how do I add another layer of text? Well, you can either add a new text box or add a new la layer in general. So I'm just going to add a new text box down here, and make it say HD. And now this is going to be a complete, sorry, a completely different size. So I'm just going to shrink that down to about 100, uh, probably a little less. There we go, and drag it to the middle. So there we go. It says Marcus Brownlee or MKB HD. And that's a very, very, very basic way of creating a channel logo, which is exactly how I created mine. Now, actually, in my channel logo, there are three layers of text. So if I do create another text box here, there's a giant X in the background. And people were asking me how I made that. Um, I have this X layer up here. And I actually made the font over here quite large, so it took up the entire screen. But then instead of making it overlap everything, I made the opacity extremely low. So just by dragging this up here, you can change uh, the opacity of it. And then obviously I can drag it around. And that's how I made the giant X in the background. So yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, this is just a very basic tutorial on how to make a channel logo. If you do like this logo and you want to keep it, just go ahead and hit File and Save As. And in order to make this uploadable to YouTube, I'm going to make it Channel Icon or Channel dot png which will save it as a dot png file select where you want to save it and hit save and just hit the export button so that it's just one giant uh, logo then hit save it'll finish saving to exactly where you want it you can exit out of GIMP at this point and now let's go find that channel logo so we'll go into my pictures and here it is this is the one that we just made now you can see the size is 400 by 400 so if you do decide to upload this to YouTube it will be uh, very crisp very clear the one I did which I'm redoing soon is actually 200 by 200 so I'm planning on um, making that a lot clearer <laughs> obviously my channel my entire channel is in HD so I might as well make my logo HD but that's basically it so uh, that is how I made my uh, channel icon I know a few of you guys asked how I made it so now you know if you don't have GIMP already check out my video on how to download GIMP or just go to the link in the description uh, with the GIMP uh, link so uh, yeah it is freeware um, if you have any tutorial ideas or requests please message me and subscribe and I will try to do a request video for you this one was a request but unfortunately so many channels requested it I cannot put their link in the description because there's probably few that I would miss but yeah, so um, thanks for watching this tutorial, and hopefully you guys will get the best out of my tutorials. By the way, 
the one about how to make an intro in Sony Vegas 8 is coming out this week, so please stay tuned for that. So again, thanks for watching, subscribe, peace.